Today we have another delivery. Who wants to know what's inside? Come on then, let's have a look. Hi everyone, welcome to Ixis on Tech. I am Ixis. I'm so sorry I haven't been around for a while, but I've moved, had a family incident, and I've been enjoying the weather here in the UK. So on today's episode, we've got another little delivery. It's a smart home device that connects up to the Xiaomi Gateway. You've probably seen a video or two about uh, the Xiaomi Gateway before and all the accessories that you can get with it. So let's crack on and let's open this thing. Got my scissors. I know I say scissors weirdly, don't I? And it is the Akara sensor, the uh, human motion sensor. So this is gonna connect up to the gateway and then control some smart bulbs that I've got from Yeelight that I've got placed around the home. I've got one in the living room, I've got a smart strip in the bedroom, I've got another smart strip, LED strip in the bedroom, <laughs> a good two in the bedroom. I've got a spare bulb, so I'm gonna stick that one in, in what we call the hallway so that when it detects motion, I place this. So we've got the front door at the front of the house, obviously, and then it goes through to uh, the stairway, the stairs, and then it goes through to uh, the kitchen. So I'm gonna try and place this up, up, up high on the ceiling so it's pointed down towards uh, the exit to the living room and the dining room so that when you walk out of those rooms, it turns on the, the hallway lights. I've also got a door sensor coming soon and another, another Yee Light Smart Bob. So come on a bit closer and we'll crack this open and we'll see what's in there and how it connects up to the app. Come on then. Okay, so here it is then. Let's uh, crack this open with the scissors. It should come with a lot of stand as well. Just put those away. And, ooh, that's really small. Ooh. Motion sensor, English instructions, that's good. Crikey, that's, that's tiny. Wow, that's impressive. And there's a little stand. Anything else in here? Do we get any sort of key to open it with or something? Uh, and that's all that's in the box. And uh, that's all that's in the box as well. Oh, so I'm guessing that sticks on there. Comes with all sticky pads. I guess sticks on there and you can tilt it up and shoot whoever you want to shoot with. Yeah. So let's have a look at the instructions then. Reset button, long press for three seconds. Fresno lens. The car motion sensor detects human movements with passive infrared. It works with other smart accessories to set various scenes such as turning on or off lights automatically when it detects activity or inactivity. It consumes no energy, no tools are required to install it, and you can simply place or stick it almost anywhere. A hub is required. The car hub is required to enable a car motion sensor to work with home kit technology. This product is for indoor use only. So how do we get the battery? Okay, so it's got 170 degrees um, view from there to there. Effective detection area, two meters, 4.5 and seven meters. Recommended installation height is 1.2 to 2.1 meters. If the installation height is below 1.2 meters, the detection area will decrease. If above 2.1 meters, the detection area might have blind spots. Ah, okay. So I wonder how you, uh, how you replace the battery then. Ah, look. Ah, there we go. A CR2450 battery is included in there as well. So that's good. Uh, let me get this back on. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's go to the app.
three, two, one. So let's hit record. Let's go to the home app, Xiaomi Home. Right, so let's click plus. We want sensors. This is the Acara motion sensor. Oh, there we go. She has spoken. Let's poke in the little button. No, let's have to use the scissors. Ooh. Why, thank you. Yay. Ooh, we should put this then. Bob, no. Home gym. Yeah, I wish. Why has he got no hallway? Skip. Next, let's get started. Yay, right, let's place up there. Now, what lights have I connect, got connected up to this? In the bedroom, I think it's just the wardrobe lights. I wonder if we can, uh, if we can do that. All right, let's have a look at the settings in here then. Replace icon. Oh, okay. Illumination curve. Yeah. I suppose this is for when it's detecting. Detecting uh, when it gets dark, I guess. Time zone. Now, this is an important one because if I want to set this up with, for example, a light and I want it to only be activated when it's at dusk. And I'm, I'm hoping that it'll work over here because I'm on the Chinese server. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it might not work uh, if it's on the Chinese server, if it detects the sunset in China, for example. All right, so that's all done then. Let's go back, back, back. What's the scene, okay. So if, Car motion sensor. Ah, motion detected and indoor brightness is weak. That's good. Then should we go to the bedroom light? No, it's offline. Living room lamp. Turn on. Let's go downstairs. I'm going to shut the curtain in the living room. Stand that somewhere in the living room and then see if it turns on the lamp. <laughs> okay, so join me downstairs in a minute. So here we have the living room lamp and we've got the little sensor in the corner there. I'll shut the living room curtain. If I move, it turns the lamp on. Yeah! Turn the living room lamp to blue. Turn off the living room lamp. Okay, so I'm stood really still. And one, two, three, move. Hey, that's good. So there we have it then. There is the little motion sensor with this little tripod. You probably can't see me that well. There's a little tripod there. Oh, tripod or mount, I guess you can call it a tripod. And that sits on top, so I'm gonna, as I mentioned, I'm gonna put that up in the hallway, uh, out by there, and have one of those smart bulbs in the hallway, uh, hallway light, so that when it detects motion, once it gets dark, which is not that dark really, is it? So come winter time, or even late at night when you're coming in from shopping, you open the front door, I'm gonna have a door sensor on there as well, by the way, but you know, even if you come out to the living room or the dining room next door, 
as soon as it detects the motion, they'll automatically then turn on, on the hallway light for you. Let me turn this white, light to white. Turn the living room lamp to white. Although saying that, I don't need to use uh, the Google because I have the Acara Cube. This is working. It's not oh, there we go, now it's working. <laughs> now there should be double tap, it's supposed to go bright white. There we go, finally. Sheesh. So there we have it then, there's the Akara human motion sensor. I wonder how good it's gonna deal with my cats. Hmm. I'll let you know in a follow-up video on that one. Thank you very much for watching Ixis on Tech. I have been Ixis. I'll catch you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.